All right, guys, we're back again with another episode. I know you guys are getting tired of us working on this car, but in the last video, you got to see us drive it. Scotty didn't show up. He was supposed to be there that day. We invited him and everything, sent a calling declined. card. Declined. Uh, declined. pretty rad day because we have a lot of cool parts as you could tell from the thumbnail white line sent us out a bunch of parts for this car when we installed the five speed back into the car we did the a couple of the bushings already we did like shifter bushing we did the transmission bracket, we did the pitch mount, and that's pretty much it. We went and drove the car in the last episode, and one of the things that I've been complaining about, and you guys have been talking with me back and forth in the comments about, is the car's inability to oversteer. Now, with this being an all-wheel drive system, when you're turning the car on the throttle, it does not want to turn, it wants to push. And so I'm trying to come up with ways to make it oversteer more. Generally speaking, manufacturers send out they build cars with thicker front sway bars and smaller rear sway bars so that cars understeer. You can kind of see how much thinner that is already than the front. Um, but they want you to understeer because if you understeer into a tree, it is safer than you oversteering and smacking a tree sideways. With that being said, we want to get rid of that feel and we want the car to oversteer. So, called up the boys at White Line. They sent us out a couple of bars, a front bar and a rear bar. The way you can achieve a car oversteering is by doing a couple of things. One, increasing the size of the rear bar while decreasing the front bar, or leaving the stock rear bar, getting rid of the front bar. There's, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. We're gonna do it by installing a rear sway bar kit from White Line. They have these upgraded brackets, bars, and a bunch of suspension goodies, so we're just gonna jump into it with some control arms and these thick links. These are actually my favorite. Um, we're gonna throw all this stuff into the car because tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow is the first event. With that being said, let's get into the swap. Let's get rid of all this junk, put in some freshy stuff. Hey, there it is. All right, so step one to the front end. We have some new white line bushings for the front mount on the control arm. And then we have some new, what we call these like lollipop bushings in the uh, BMW world. But we got some new boys on there right there. So we're going to go to depress the mount and then, some, then we're going to put it together. Doug, dim it down. <laughs> Just press those in real quick and that was that. Also, they have this really cool glass water beading machine thing that I put these arms in. <laughs> they look brand freaking new. So now we're going to be throwing in the uh, front bar. I don't know if I'm going to run it just yet, but we're going to at least install it and then I can always just have one side disconnected. stuff is installed in the front except uh, rack bushings which should definitely be done in order to do that we have to drop the whole rack out and we're just not in, we're not doing that today we don't have time for it I ended up blasting those arms got those in put the end links on those look a little funny but it's because it's at full droop once it compresses it'll go back to normal and then also we have these stoppers to stop the bar from sliding side to side. And then on top of that, they give you the spacers for the U-frame uh, in order to fit these, I'll call them lollipop bushings for the sake of all my BMW homies. Everything's spaced out, pretty much ready to go. Scotty forgot to tighten that, no big deal. Uh, that's the whole front end essentially, so now we will jump into the back. This is the OEM bar. Uh, for the rear. It's ridiculously small. On top of that, these brackets here that it mounts to the chassis with are fairly thin. These ones are actually already rusted. 
But these are really thin and crappy. Now, the cool thing is, is that White Line makes an entire replacement for this whole setup. So, this thin bracket goes, and this plastic sway bar link also goes. Let me show you what we got. Now, this is quite the upgrade. To show you kind of a side-by-side, -side, that's what the old one looks like, and this is the new one. So you can see how much beefier the material is. These are aluminum versus a steel setup. So a thick amount of aluminum is just as strong as a thin amount of steel. And the reason that this needs to be this strong is because that's the bar. Now, let's move these side by side just so that people can actually see. There's a substantial difference in thickness. Along with that, the white line bar has three settings. The furthest setting is gonna be the softest setting. Think about leverage, so your point of pivot to where it mounts. This is gonna give you the most leverage in the suspension, which means it's the softest. You can go to a soft setting, a center setting, which would be mild, or a stiff setting. For us, we want the car to oversteer, along with having the front bar still in there. So I'm gonna set it up on the stiffest setting in the rear and the softest setting in the front. So this bar will go in with these new brackets. And then also, let me show you these real quick. These are going to be the replacements for the plastic links. Now we have these nice, big, fancy gold links. Pretty clean setup, some solid bushings, real nice design. Uh, just intended to replace the stock bar. You have this setup versus that setup. This setup versus that setup. Out with the old, in with the new. Also, gotta install these new arms. This is this back arm here. Uh, there's the white line one. So substantially bigger and stronger. We're gonna throw all this stuff in along with some diff bushings. We'll show you what it looks like. done up there's a couple more bushings that we do have to do we just don't have time to do them today these bushings um, which is a diff brace support thing that bolts to the front of the diff here uh, the front of the diff mounts to this and then it mounts to the chassis there we still have to do those bushings but the whole brace has to come out in order to do those so we're not doing that today so we did these bushings here on the back of the brace for the diff which turned out great we have the front arms and the rear arms now in place. Sway bar, big meaty boy in the back is in as well. Uh, we have it on the stiffest setting right off the rip because the front is already a bigger bar as well, but that is on the softest. I have yet to drive the car without a front bar in it. What I decided was I'd start with the stiffest setting in the rear in order to create some more oversteer and then the softest setting in the front. We'll see how that works out. If I don't like it, then I'll remove the front bar um, or I'll at least disconnect it on one side and drive the rest of the event like that. I can take this link off fairly easy, undo it, twist it the other way and then lock it in place with this nut so then I can have it disconnected. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the big beefy braces. Big beefy links are in. So all this is set up. One of the problems I am seeing is that this is getting really close to the exhaust, which isn't a big deal. I just hope that when we drop it, this bar doesn't rotate into it, which I have a feeling it will. If it does, then we're gonna have to straight pipe it. It's all in, so it should feel a lot different and a lot better now. All the rear end is done, and then just real quick to go over the front end, spacers, uh, lollipop bushings are in, front bushings are in, and sway bars are in. So all the white line goodies are in the car now, and uh, it's essentially ready to go rip tomorrow. Thank you, Joel. You look really dirty. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even see. I, uh, I need to pressure wash the bottom of this car, like, really bad. Huge thank you, first off, to Night Motorsport, Joel, Scotty, and the boys, but also to White Line for supplying us with a ton of bushings and arms and all the parts for this car. We still have quite a bit to do. We'll eventually put those in, yeah. and then we'll take Mario for a ride. Stay safe, boys.
Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you like the content, leave a like. It helps us out big time with the algorithm. Also, there's some discount codes in the description below. Black Rifle has offered you guys 15% off of your first purchase. Our boys over at Radical Firearms also offered 15% off. So go ahead and use code Mike Diaz. Don't miss out on any of the content. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Stay safe, boys.